What's going on with the Canadian men's national team? It's the international break, but Canada is not involved. Canada inexplicably skipped the opportunity to play friendlies in the September window, and they aren't holding a training camp either. Canada is without a coach after John Herdman walked away on August 28th. Canada's next games aren't until November and the Nations League qualifiers. These are also qualifiers for the 2024 Copa America, which features all 10 Comebol nations and six CONCACAF nations that can qualify. Next summer's Copa America is considered by many to be a dry run ahead of the 2020 World Cup, and there's a chance that Canada won't be there. So what is happening? Canada's men's players are pointing the finger at Canada's soccer business, who markets Canada's soccer through broadcast and sponsorship agreements. Canada's soccer business pays Canada's soccer, Canada's football association, a set amount of money each year. Right now, that's about $3 million. In return, Canada's soccer business receives the revenue from the sponsorship and broadcast agreements that they sell. This agreement is in place through 2037. CSB is owned by Canadian Premier League owners, and evidently they've been plowing the profits into the CPL. In June, Canada Soccer Secretary Jason DeVos said the association may need to consider filing for bankruptcy protection. How did this happen? Before the World Cup, Canada finished first in CONCACAF qualifying and was seemingly on top of the world, or at least North America. Due to financial mismanagement, the Canada men missed out on two friendlies and had to fly economy class after a Nations League match this summer. In July, Canada Men's National Soccer Team Players Association sent cease and desist letters to sponsors. They demanded Canada soccer sponsors stop using players' names, image, and likeness in their marketing materials. The players also accused the Federation of attempting to reduce per-game compensation by as much as 75%. Canada Soccer is currently undergoing an independent audit. It will also need to undergo a governance review and accept advice from an external advisory group in order to continue receiving federal funding. To be honest, I'm not sure how this gets fixed, but it's going to take a lot of effort from a lot of people. It probably will require getting more sponsors in, but that's a simplistic view. Clearly, there are some deep-lying and complex financial issues issues at the federation level. What do you think Canada can do to fix this? How worried are you if you're a Canada fan? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you did and what other topics you'd like to see me cover as I expand to more long form content. I've left some of the links down below, so check them out if you're doing more digging and let me know what you find.